Jesus better than smoking crack. Jesus, he's coming back. Yeah. Jesus better than snorting dope. Jesus, he's giving me hope. Jesus better than sex at night. Jesus got my soul right. Yes, I'm sure some of the elder women are like, wait a minute, oh, that sex thing. Wait a minute, boy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, son. I've been 30 years. Don't tell me that. <laughs> but anyway, he's better than anything that we can have. Yeah. He is the light. And he said that you are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. He said, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So with the few that are here, once God blesses with a building, we should be the light that shines throughout the whole building. That when people come in there, I want some of that. I don't know what it is, but I want some of that. Amen. We should have a light so bright that it's shining through the windows, praise God. Because I want them stained windows when, when we build the building. I want them stained windows. I want Jesus because I want that light to go through there and they see Jesus on the tree and start tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because whatever shines through is going whatever's there. Just like this, you see the different shapes and the different everything? Well, if we got Jesus on the window, stained glass, when the light shines through there, if it's a wall over there, if it's a tree, whatever, that, that, that image is going to be there. Amen. See, we got to use wisdom in all things. We are the light. You may be the only Jesus that the person sees in the store or on your job. That's right. See, if you be conscious that I am in the light, and I am representing Christ, then you won't be tempted to cuss that boss out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because, see, when you walk in the light, it's joy. When the sun shines, it's joy. I feel good. Like I know that I should. So good? No. But anyway, <laughs> neither do they put, you don't light a candle and put it up on the bush. You set it up where everybody can utilize it. Then it's the 16th verse. Let your light. Say my light. My light. Say my light. my light. Say my light. My light. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works mm -hmm. and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light. You are the light of the world. Jesus is the light. Greater is he that is in you than he is of this world. Let your light so shine amongst me. That they see your good works, not your bad works, your good works. You got to be on your P's and Q's when you step outside your door. Sometimes we get lax today, don't let us get some money. Mm. Then we go to the store living in God's way, we don't care. <laughs> I'm already made. And people are stumbling because you're a poor representation. Mm. Really, your light ain't shining, your bling is shining. And that bling is on the outside, it ain't on the inside. Then as you go on, you go too long without walking in the light, you'll get used to darkness again. That's right. You'll get used to darkness again. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, St. John 11 and 10. We're almost there. Sister Darlene, when I start talking about food, you know we get ready to close. Uh -huh. <laughs> St. John 11 and 10, if you will. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. Does God's sun shine on your life? Mm -hmm. Okay, 10 first. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbled, mm -hmm. stumbled, because there is no light in him. So when you walk in darkness, you're going to fall in the pit sooner or later. You're going to have accidents. You're going to have financial problems. Come on now. You're going to have relationship problems because you are walking in the dark. Ah, it doesn't matter about the spouse. Now, I'm telling you, we're one, but I must walk in the light at all times. Then by me walking in the light at all times, she will have no choice but to walk in the light. But if I say forget it, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to walk in the darkness too. Then we got a problem. We can turn it into, we double dark. Who's going to help us? So regardless of your children, regardless of your mama, regardless of your husband, regardless of your wife, regardless of grandma, regardless if they walk in the dark, you need to walk in the light. You need to obey the word. Amen. Obey the word. We don't sweat people about tithes and offerings. We don't, you see the offering is only five minutes long. I know church is 45 minutes minimum. <laughs> Praise God. But money 
is good, but it's not the priority. But the word says, pay your tithe. And he will bless you. I guarantee you. I'm a living witness. Okay? But I feel like that we are all in here know the word. So why should I go there when you've already been there? <laughs> and I'm sorry about the ones that beat you down behind because I've been beat down too. I've been jacked. I've been hijacked. Come on now. I've been robbed when it comes to offering. Oh my God. But I refuse to get in a $1,000 line, a $500 line, a $300 line. Only line I ever got into was the free lunch line in high school. <laughs> and it was good. But in order to walk in the light, you've got to obey what the word says. Amen. Try God one time on your time. Try it just one time. Lord, I'm just going to try you one time. Amen. Not that I really believe you, but I'm going to try you and see what God do. But now we, we'll, we'll try everything else. We'll try lotto. We'll try bingo. We'll try slotto. We'll try drugs. We'll try everything. We'll try this. We'll try that. We'll try this. We'll try everything except what the word says. But then we want the benefits of the word. We want the like, We want the results of walking in the light, but don't want to walk in it. Yeah. Oh, you got to pay a price. If Jesus got on that cross and got beat down like he got beat down, you got to pay a price. Amen. Ain't nothing free but salvation, but then you got to pay after you get it. Amen. To maintain it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if a man walking in the night, he stumbled. My God, when we drive at night, sometimes we hit potholes. And we got headlights up front. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. So you've got to have the light in order to see. If you don't have the light, you need to get it tonight. You need to get you some Jesus for real. Amen. Because you're going to be tested. I say this every week, isn't it? Every week, somebody goes through the test. You're going to be tested. You're going to be held accountable for the knowledge that you're receiving. Mm -hmm. This ain't no play thing. This ministry is real. We're serious about God. Yes, we all sin and fall short. We all got issues and everything, but we're serious when it comes to God. And if you get serious, you will have more joy in your life. And isn't it amazing? If you get serious about God, you get more joy. But if you play in the world, you get more misery. See, God knows how to have real fun. The world is trying to imitate, emulate. That's all the devil does. He got here and got a head start on, on the music. Because he was the chief musician in heaven. So he got down here and perverted it before people could get the gospel right. That's why the gospel is way back behind time as far as evolving. And the world just keep reproducing. Keep reproducing. Time one becomes a star, they're looking for the next star. They're going to get their cut, but they're going to and it, it keep multiplying. They are fruitful and multiplying the churches on the field. We got the same artists for the last 15, 20 years. That award show, I don't even look at it. She did, I don't look at it. I said, girl, this is these same people. This is almost like a, a the Republican Party. I don't know. <laughs> Praise God. But does God's son shine on you? Where's your proof? Where's your fruit that is, his light is shining? There should be some fruit. Praise God. There should, that's what I'm saying. There should be a testimony. Do y'all understand that you're overcome by the testimony of your words? And the blood of the Lamb. So when you are testifying, the blood of the Lamb is flowing. And if the blood of the Lamb is flowing through you, then His light is shining through you. Amen. Amen. Simple as that. Simple as that. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3 through 4. Somebody looking at me with that hungry look. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's all right. You're going to get blessed. We're going to keep breaking bread. But we're going to help my sister out. I, I thank God for the cook. My sister. Everybody give her a hand. She cooks every Sunday faithfully. She buys it and everything else. So when God bless her with her restaurant or whatever it is she wants, amen, she's well deserved because she's sowing the seed. Amen. And we got uh, Minister Lakeisha is going to bless us Wednesday. Praise God. I heard something about some lemon cake. I didn't mean to be eavesdropping. 